Tonight, the government's plan to replace GCSEs with an English baccalaureate certificate. Education Secretary Michael Gove has revealed that GCSE exams in core subjects such as English, Maths and Science will be scrapped to be replaced by a single end of course exam and one exam board. Torquay Boys Grammar School is one of the institutes that will be affected by this change. Also tonight, Brixham Coast Guard Station on the brink of closure as the government aimed to pull the plug on a number of stations across the country by 2014. We hear what local residents have to say and how it will affect them. And should it stay or should it go, some residents are calling to have Torbay's giant controversial palm removed. We'll have the latest from Torquay. Good evening, welcome to the TBC News at 6.30. Today it has emerged that GCSEs are to be scrapped. The government has decided that a new English Baccalaureate Certificate, or EBCs, are a better option for exams in core subjects. For students starting secondary school this year, this will mean one exam board and one big exam once they reach the end of Year 11. With the first of these exams to take place in 2017, this change follows concerns that competition between different exam boards leads to a race to the bottom, where they aim to attract more business by making it easier to pass. However, reactions to this change are divided. Taylor Jones, our education correspondent, reports from Torquay. The end of GCSEs will mean big changes for schools, pupils and teachers across the country. Here at Torquay Boys Grammar School, reactions to this change are mixed, with some preferring the single exam approach, whilst others think that there will be too much pressure on students with the knowledge that they cannot reset exams. Michael Gove has declared that the new scheme will mean one standard exam board across all schools, one big exam at the end of the year assessing the student's knowledge of the whole course, no more coursework and no more resetting exams. Torquay Boys Grammar School has voiced concerns that the new scheme is unfair on many of its students. Those students taking the exam for the first time in 2017 will be acting as guinea pigs, potentially putting their own futures on the line. Meanwhile, the government is slating current GCSE students for receiving too much help from their parents. From a teaching perspective, I think that the proposed changes to the, the GCSE system um, is going to create a lot of added pressure for students. Um, especially with the removal of the modular uh, units of study. I don't want to do an exam at the end of the year because it just puts more pressure on me and I'll just get worried. I think the advantage of the proposal is that it will bring greater clarity both for teachers and students. Uh, under the existing system we've had all kinds of uh, misunderstandings about grades projected from coursework elements that then aren't carried out uh, in full in the, in the final grading. Despite their concerns, Torquay Boys Grammar School do think that the new qualifications will be more representative of students' ability as the government closes the door on GCSEs. Taylor Jones, TBC News, Torquay. We have student representative Charlie Mott here with us today. Thank you for joining us. What's your view on the exam shake-up? Well, some students are saying that they're happy that they're only going to have one exam at the end of the course. But I think the overall feeling is that they're worried that this one exam is to put more pressure on them and if they don't like the questions, it could be detrimental to their results. Is that a good thing though, that students can't keep resitting exams to achieve top grades? Possibly, seeing that Michael Gove wants to cap the number of students that get top grades at 10% and it seems it will fulfil this aim. However, we have to remember that some students may not like the question or the question might be a bit hard for them, meaning that the grade they get won't be the one they actually deserve. Charlie, thanks very much. The closure of Brixham Coast Guard Station is due to take place in 2014.